You don't have the details now, Ron? How's that make us look? Not very professional, pal. We're trying to raise money for this venture. We don't have much in the way of assets. It's all about the people, Ron. The investor's capital for human capital. And yours ain't worth very much. Thank fuck this Series 8 funding is mostly gonna be stolen.
surprised as possible. Feel free to help yourself to champagne. Just give me the location and I'll take care of the rest.
kings, but something has come to Los Santos that will disturb him peace between white man and Indian. Ah, uh, if only Pablo were here. With his Mexican cunning, he could make sense of what this indigenous savage is going on about. No, Pablo, he big problem. Chief! Another chief! That's right, Pablo's a hell of a problem. He's a goddamn communist! <gasps> Our Pablo! Yes, squaw. For a many moons, our peoples have lived happily together. We simple savages were a honor to give up our land, so drags from Europe build Midwest chain restaurants, kill 90% of our people and herd us into tiny pins, only letting us out to drink firewater and work construction jobs. But now, all this bliss is being ruined. Say, pale face, got him Redwood? Yes, I'd like a Redwood cigarette as well. Perfect for chiefs of all kinds everywhere. For gentlemen from all walks of life. Hmm, how? I'd like one too, but they're too manly for me. Damn straight, Chippy. Hey, I don't understand what Pablo has to do with all this. The Redskin says something terrible is coming. He thinks it's communism, Gordon, and he's not happy about it. His people could smell this stuff in the wind. This some land of freedom, not land to share equally. What he's trying to say, Gordon, is this is a land of freedom, not a land to share equally. I, I don't understand. Oh, uh, being a woman, I can't help but stick my nose in where it doesn't belong and amble cluelessly through life. Can I fix you gentlemen a drink? Damn straight you can, woman. Two scotches and a ceremonial bowl of water for the cheap. I'm on wagon. I'd use the local police force, but uh, the fact is, Gordon, they're useless. Lone existentialist crime fighters like yourself, men with an addiction to justice. They're much better at fighting evil than government fat cats and bloated examples of America's descent into decadence. Amen. We think that the commies have infiltrated the moving pictures. They're writing subversive themes into scripts to influence our children and women. The fact is, there's only one kind of red we like in this country. A red skin who knows his place and wears feathers a lot while having very little understanding of syntax. Not goddamn communists! There's communists? In Vinewood? Oh, but this used to be a nice country. Oh, Gordon, I'm scared. I'm scared too, Molly, of what I'll do when I catch them. Me scalp them big nasty. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, yeah, simmer down. Sorry. We'll have to find a way to sneak onto that motion picture studio lot and have a look around, see? I knew I can count on you. Who better to protect America than a drunk? A dame in a sensitive portrayal of indigenous people. How about we smoke on peace pipe? Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm in. <laughs> <coughs> okay, all right, let's get out of here. I know exactly where to start. Are we going to the movie studio? No, Molly, we're going in here. Can't start a case without a fisted gin. Helps a man think. Mm. Now, where to find these pinkos? Hey there, partner, where are you from? Oh, I am from uh, Georgia. Oh, I do love a peach. Yeah, I'm real American. I sleep with sister and, and finger shit. Well, no time to dilly-dally. I've got to solve this case, and I know just how to get into that movie lot. Hey, Joey, look what I snuck for my old man. God zooks, Nancy. He'll be cross for sure. You'll get a serious spanking. Nah, he only spanks Mommy. Why should he enjoy all this refreshing flavor? Yay! <laughs> when Daddy's not looking, grab that pack. Don't worry about that cough or hack. <laughs> Time to smoke, smoke, smoke really good. It's gotta be that filter tip. Redwood! Yeah. I love you forever, Redwood cigarette. Smoking is just as fun for kids as it is for parents. Have a Redwood. Don't let adults have all the fun. Going? Look the other way, pal. We're fighting communists. Oh! I hate these communists! They killed my father in Stalingrad! Look in the writer's room. I hear the filthy socialists often meet there! Oh, Gordon, I'm scared! Shut up, you'll blow our cover. Oh, I'm sorry, Gordon. Estrogen makes me weak-minded. Let's not waste time. We haven't got a moment to lose on dull exposition or silly plot points. I want to go straight to the boss of this place. Vinewood is full of harlots and charlatans and socialist scum, and I want to know who is pulling the strings. Hey. Hey. Uh, 
We need to have a chat, bucko. Uh, you've been overdoing the fire water again, huh? We can't afford to pay your kind for movie work. We're losing money. This is uh, advertising money. I'm no sitting bull, big chief pile of cash. I'm Gordon Moorhead, crime fighter, and I'm hunting commies, see? Ha! I knew it. No, those aren't mine. They, they belong to the maintenance man. A likely story, blaming the honest poor. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Zelder. I forgot my artificial hand. You slipped by this time, but I'm convinced you're running a massive propaganda operation here. One that's hell-bent into turning this country into a bunch of weak-minded, overly considerate Lenin lovers. Why, that's a bold-faced lie! Actors and movie executives would never push a liberal agenda! We studio bosses are too busy counting money all day and sleeping with young starlets to care about the dreck we're putting out! What you need to do is uh, visit the writer's room, yes? That's what you should do. What I need to do is... Get this young lady out from under my desk! No teeth, damn it! Oops, sorry, Mr. Zelda, I didn't mean it! Oh, Gordon, this is so scary! Shut up! <laughs> Running out of places to slap you. We're fighting a red menace here. We've got no time for emotion. What did you do during a war, Gordon? I fought fascism. In Germany? Italy? No dumbass Florida. Now shut your yap, we're here. Get Zeus! Someone's making monkeys of us! There must be another writer's room! Don't worry, I will track them. <laughs> Over there! Ha! You're incredible, you savage! Pablo! That's not Pablo! Yes, it is! Igor Pavlovich, rescue at large! Ha 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 ha! Comrades! You're too late! Already I have flooded your movies with communist propaganda! Your workers will... they will rise up, unionize, demand ridiculous wages, and then all American industry will fail and move to communist China! <laughs> it's good plan, no? <laughs> oh, oh, please! Oh, that is rich! America will always be a pillar of industry! We're unstoppable. Our hunger and work ethic make us invincible. As if America would ever become fat, lazy, and entitled like you commies. And besides, I'm about to stop you. <laughs> oh, that horrible, awful foreigner is getting away! <laughs> Get him, Gordon! No, bye-bye, comrades! I fall down! Pablo! Hola, Senor Moorhead. Hola, Miss Malmsteen. Oh, Pablo, where have you been? I stopped for siesta and to have burrito. Such a cunning people. They nap half the day and mix the same four ingredients and give it 20 different names. Oh, can I get a chimichanga? Gordon, I bring you a present. But Pablo, Friendly is no longer a sponsor of this show. See, si, but this is old script, muy viejo. Well, in that case, give me a redwood, buy me a starter home, and stand the hell back. These people are about to be put on the cutting room floor. <laughs> Boom! Hi. <laughs> I guess weeding out trouble never goes out of style. <laughs> How, muchacho? And I guess I would like a redwood. Join us next time for more adventures with Gordon, Molly, and the gang as they protect America's atomic secrets by setting some off only on Morehead Rides Again! Pablo Rebazar makes $28 million a year. Dwayne Aller makes $35 million a year. You make $10 an hour. Failure this deep calls for a deep, slow-brewed beer. Lager, the official beer of American baseball. These guys are at the top of their game. You're at the bottom. Relive your glory days. Have a lager. Bored? Stupid? How about a fulfilling career as a stunt double? To break into Pinewood, <laughs> you just might have to break through a windshield. Cunning Stunt Academy is San Andreas' oldest accredited stunt school. We have classes in high-speed accidents, 
Taking a baseball bat to the face, getting shot, knifed in the back, falling off a building on fire, and getting run over. If you make it through our course, you are ready for the big screen. Make dull and vain famous people look cool by dressing up as them and risking your life and future health. Then, have your face digitally removed on a...